Hello everyone, welcome back to Network 13. I have a really quick video for you today, and it has to do with this item, which is a function generator kit that I purchased from an eBay seller several years ago. It's a really simple design that's based on the XR2206 function generator IC, uh, which is a really fun and useful part if you're a hobbyist or a maker. Uh, you can output a, a square wave or a triangle, which it's doing now, or a sine wave. This particular implementation has a limitation where you have a fixed offset, a fixed DC offset. And right here, as you can see, I'm outputting a triangle. It's about four and a half volts. Now, this makes uh, sense because I'm powering this um, generator right now off of a nine volt uh, wall wart. So it's nine volt DC. So it's a single supply ground referenced and it's right around four and a half volts. To get rid of the DC offset in and of itself isn't a big problem. You can just couple your signal to your next stage through a capacitor, which is what I'm gonna do here. And as you can see, This completely removes the DC offset. <laughs> That's plus or minus one volt um, centered on zero. Okay, that's one solution. But what I wanna do is I wanna be able to have an adjustable DC offset. There's a really simple circuit that we can build to accomplish this and I will, um, let me, push this out of the way and I will show you what it is. So this is the circuit that we're going to use to accomplish our DC offset of an AC signal from our signal generator and this is based on an LM1458 op amp IC. The LM1458 has two op amps in a single 8 lead dip package and we're going to be using one of them today. We're not going to use the other section. We're going to input our signal here and we're going to use this 0.47 microfarad cap to eliminate the DC offset from the generator. We're going to set a fixed gain of, of one. We're going to use, accomplish this with these two 10K resistors. And we're going to use a potentiometer to set our offset, which is we're going to set the reference voltage on the non-inverting input here. So we'll be able to adjust anywhere from nine volts down to ground or zero here. We're also going to uh, use another voltage divider here, these two 470 ohm resistors, and this is going to give us one half of supply voltage. So whatever supply voltage happens to be, I'm, I'm using nine volts here, but if, if we set it for 12 or whatever, you'd get one half of whatever that was here. And we're gonna take our output here, uh, output from the op amp output and reference to one half of supply voltage. So this circuit is going to give us the ability to offset our input signal above and below zero volts. And we will see that at the output. Okay, so I built up the, the circuit on this um, solderless breadboard. And what we're looking at right now is we have a triangle signal from the signal generator and it's about, uh, that's about one volt peak to peak right there. And what I can do, it's 20 kilohertz signal, by the way, if you, if you were curious, what I can do is I can adjust the potentiometer on the non-inverting input in the offset circuit. And I can move this, I can move this up above zero, or I can move it down below zero. And I'm gonna show you limitations here. So at a certain point, you start to approach the, the uh, limit Have to approach the limit on your supply. 
it's right there so just start to flatten out at about that's about a little over five volts I have to say that I, I have the supply um, at 12 volts right now so that's about positive five where it starts to it starts to flatten out and distort if we go the other direction we go down And that's about almost five volts so you're able to move this signal uh, quite a ways between 12 volts and zero also I'm going to show you let me set this up for the sine wave okay so now we're outputting the sine wave from the signal generator And I'll show you, same deal here, I can move this above and below zero. And it looks pretty clean, it looks pretty stable. Of course you have to keep in mind, you know, as I always say, this is a solderless breadboard. It's not like it's, this is a print circuit board where you have good grounds and good connections and proper <laughs> bypassing. That's not what this is. This is a very, very noisy kind of environment, but the signal looks good, it looks clean, and I think this is a good demonstration and proof of concept of being able to offset an AC signal with a DC component using an op amp. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, mm -hmm. Go ahead and give it a thumbs down. That's fine. Fine by me. If you have any comments or suggestions, you can leave them in the comments section below the video on the YouTube page. Or you can write to me at network13.contact at gmail.com. That's network13.contact at gmail.com. I will be including a link to a data sheet for the LM1458 dual op amp and also for the XR2206 function generator IC, I will be including this link in the description section below the video. And with that, I think we're done. So I will say, as always, thank you for watching.